I just want to take a moment in this video to cover why there's no protease enzymes in progen. Now many of you are concerned about this because you know that this is the highest quality protein blend that you can buy. It's the only one that lists the exact amounts of each and every source of protein right on the label. It's the only non-proprietary protein blend that there is. So why didn't I go full bore and add protease enzymes, digestive enzymes, to help you digest the protein and make it a better protein, right? Isn't that what you heard? That digestive enzymes can help you to utilize more of the protein in your protein powder? Well, what I'm about to cover is going to blow you away on the science or lack thereof on digestive enzymes. There's really only two, two count them, two studies that have been done on digestive enzymes, specifically in digestion. Now, yeah, we already know that patients with pancreatic insufficiency, uh, they do well on enzyme uh, prescription enzyme drugs. Lactase works well for those who are lactose intolerant. And there's a number of studies on protease enzymes and their ability to decrease inflammation. However, the actual research looking specifically at how digestive enzymes can help with digestion is very, like I said, there's two studies. Now, now the first study was done looking at normal subjects where they gave them a meal of cookies and then they gave them enzymes specifically to help digest fat, carbs, and protein in the cookies. And they found that when they took the enzymes, the subjects reported less gas, bloating, and fullness. So there's two problems with the study. First of all, the enzyme was a prescription enzyme. It wasn't an over-counter supplement. So it has really no bearing on the enzyme supplements that are out there in the market uh, today. Two, they really didn't measure any real rates of digestion. It was just subjective measures. How do you feel? Do you feel full? Are you gassy? No, no, I feel, you know, that, that's not science. So strike that study. So now we're down to one study. And that's the study that some of you may be familiar with on aminogen. Now this is a patented enzyme blend that you'll see in a number of protein powders. It's protease enzymes. The protease enzymes are supposed to help you digest specifically protein. They help break down those amino acid chains that make a long protein chain. So the only study done looked at aminogen, but I have to tell you right off the bat that the study was funded by the makers of aminogen. So does that influence the results? I'll let you guys decide on that. So what they did is they gave subjects a 50 gram dose of whey protein concentrate with or without the aminogen. What they reported was that the aminogen, when they're given the aminogen, the digestion rate of the whey protein concentrate was significantly increased. Okay, fine. I'll accept that, that it increased the rate of digestion of whey protein concentrate. My question is, is, does this really offer any true benefit? And the reason I'm asking this is because the new research, if you've read my article and watched my video on protein blends, what the research is now finding is that whey protein is no longer the king. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely the king of protein powders, but it's no longer best to take whey by itself. Now, this study on immunogen was done in 2008. That was back when a lot of scientists still thought that whey was the way to go. You want to focus on that fast digesting protein and everything was about fast, fast, speed, speed, faster is better around workouts. So I really think that that influenced the study uh, as well as the funding of that study. Um, sure, maybe it did enhance the rate of protein digestion. Great, but what benefit is that? When now that the research is showing, when you take a little bit of whey, add those slower digesting proteins like casein, a very slow digesting micellar casein, a medium digesting, digesting protein like egg or soy, what it does is it enhances that protein synthesis for longer. 
and it actually increases muscle growth. Net protein balance, which is a measure of the amount of the protein that's being utilized in the body, enhance and subjects are gaining more muscle as the research has shown and what I've seen in the gym. So why would enhancing the speed of digestion of whey provide any benefit? It's quite the opposite. You need just a little bit of whey. Whey protein isolate digests fast enough. You want that whey to really spike protein synthesis. And that's all you need. You just need that little bit of whey to spike protein synthesis. Then you have your medium and slower digesting proteins to enhance protein synthesis for longer. And that leads to better gains in muscle growth. So why waste your time with a protease enzyme? Why bother putting it in your protein powder? I'm going to talk to you about another reason why it's not in progen. Very obvious. Think, start thinking about it now why I wouldn't want to put a protease enzyme that breaks down proteins in my protein blends. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, the only follow-up study, there was, there was no, this study was done in 2008. There's been no follow-up on the digestion rate. They did state that there was an increase in what they call nitrogen retention, which is a measure of whether or not the protein is retained in the body or excreted, meaning it should be used more, uh, you should be using more of the protein. Better when they had the aminogen. I'm going to debate those findings. Like I said, we know that using a slower digesting protein in addition to the little bit of whey is going to prolong that protein synthesis and that uh, protein balance in muscle growth. So I'm debating that one on nitrogen. Uh, and I'm going to talk about a follow-up study, not on digestion rate, a follow-up study on aminogen. Now, the follow-up study was just a safety study. So they looked at things like liver, uh, kidney uh, health, cardiovascular health, uh, metabolism of 30 days of taking 40 grams of whey protein ice. with aminogen or without. And they found that the aminogen had no negative effects on liver, kidneys, cardiovascular health, metabolism. What they did find, this is interesting, was that the subjects taking just 40 grams of whey protein concentrate by itself without the aminogen raised total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. Hey, now, hang on a minute. If you look at all the research, and there's a lot of research done on the health benefits, particularly the heart health benefits of whey protein, you will actually find the opposite. That study after study has shown that subjects supplementing with whey protein actually have lower cholesterol and lower blood pressure. Lo and behold, whey is good for heart health. But the aminogen follow-up study showed that whey protein is not so good. It raised cholesterol and LDL, bad cholesterol levels. But lo and behold, when they took it with the aminogen, you didn't get that nasty raise in cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. Now, like I said, these are studies that are funded by the company that makes aminogen. So who are we going to believe here? The loads of data prior to these studies and after these studies showing that whey protein actually lowers blood pressure, enhances heart health, or this one study showing that, whoa, you better take aminogen with your whey or, oh, your cholesterol is going to go through the roof. No. So I'm calling fall on that. And that makes me question the other, da the, the other data from the, the other study on whether or not uh, protein digestion rates are increased. So, and again, there are no follow-up studies. So none of that really matters. The, the research on digestive enzymes is extremely, extremely lacking. That's one of the main reasons why I didn't bother putting it in my progen. Now, the other obvious reason why I didn't put any protease enzymes, digestive enzymes in progen is progen is a blend. I have the fast digesting way. I have medium digesting egg protein, and I have very slow micellar casein. If I put in digestive enzymes, it would speed up the digestion of the micellar casein. That's the 
stupidest thing I've ever heard. If you look on a protein blend and turn it over and it lists protease enzymes on there, digestive enzymes, or calls them out on the front of the bag on a protein blend, those formulators had no idea what they were doing. Why would you want to speed up the rate of your casein protein and your medium, whether it's egg or not, with I have egg in there? I don't want to speed those up. So why would you put protease enzymes in your protein blend? It's silly. It's absolutely, it goes, it's counterproductive to what you want to do with your protein blends. So that's, that's it. That's the reason. I wasn't going to be stupid and put protease enzymes in my protein blend just because everybody, because it's a buzzword. That's what all these supplement company formulators do is what's the hot, what's the hot thing right now? We got to put in our supplement so we can sell more. Oh, protease enzymes. Oh yeah, there was a study that showed that it increased protein utilization. Let's put it in our protein blend. Oh, genius. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. So, progen. Everything you need. Fast digesting, medium digesting, very slow digesting protein. And nothing that you don't need. And nothing that's actually counterproductive for your protein powder. And it just so happens to be the best tasting protein out there. And speaking of digestion, look at the reviews. Look at the tweets that people are tweeting and posting on Facebook about ProGym. Not only is it the best tasting protein they've ever had, they have zero stomach issues with it. Even people who are lactose intolerant. Why? Because there's only one gram of lactose, less than one gram of lactose per serving of ProGym. You don't need enzymes in your protein. You just need a quality protein. And there's no higher quality protein than ProGym. Make sure you watch all my other videos on ProGym and read my article talking about the science of digestive enzymes at www.gymsupplementscience.com.